So this is the Porta Capture X6. It has two ports for XLR cables, which is pretty much enough to do a podcast, do a wedding, because usually you only use one or two ports max. Podcast, you maybe need four and you should consider the X8, but the X8 is also more expensive. Um, another thing that this has is basically rotatable microphones that are directional, which is very powerful as well, because if you want to do some ASMR or you want to be out and about and record some sounds, this will allow you with 32 bits to actually record the best quality possible. A big difference in between the X6 and the X8 are the buttons and functionality. This has actually like a menu button where the Porta Capture X8 does not. So the Porta Capture only has like four buttons on it. And this has like seven and the Porta Capture X8 only has four. Overall, the menu layout, I like a little bit better actually on the X6 because nobody really talks about it. Easier to maneuver. And another thing that I really like is like where this one, the X8, that is more expensive, has a volume dial, which is nice but it's also not really as fine-tunable as the buttons. The fine-tunable, I mean like if you wanna have the same settings, you'll know like, oh, I go on to 27 or 30 and it's good. Here it's just like, oh, is this really moved, you know? And it's it's a weird thing with a dial. I'm not the biggest fan of dials. The good thing about the Porta Capture X8 is like you can remove the portable microphones, what you cannot do on the X6. But to be quite honest, I never really do, you know? If I wanna hook up regular 3.5 millimeter microphones, I'm just connected via cable to the XLR ports. Having the X8, you're obviously more versatile on the wedding because it allows you to have the quarter inch um, cables plugged into the XLR port, which is kind of cool and really nifty. They could have done that on the X6, but obviously that is a budget version and more affordable. So we got to save some costs somewhere. If you have the extra money, I would go with the X8 because it's more versatile, but it's really situational. If you do ASMR, you probably don't need any of those cables and you only need those rotatable microphones and that's the only thing you really need to do. If you do podcasts with only two people, two ports as well, you're good to go. If it's more people, you could also use like the directional mic and just get the ambience from everybody. Obviously, you could also adapt a splitter where you basically have a splitter going into here what i usually use for multiple headphones because the x6 and the x8 only have one port as an output and if i do a podcast i have an eight-way splitter on this thing basically split it eight ways and i can hook up to eight headphones what is very powerful as well obviously the power consumption the more you hook up to this thing the faster the battery drains talking about the battery you can use usb as a power source in a way of you either power it through the computer or through a power bank. I really like hooking up the Tascam for like live streams just directly to the computer, plug the microphones in and use it as an uh, audio source. And I don't have to worry about batteries, if they charged or not, if they're empty or not, because the USB port can power the X6 and the X8, which is very powerful in my opinion, because batteries are annoying, especially if you have to buy them. So I usually buy rechargeable batteries and charge them, but I do not rely on them because if you do a wedding, you need a backup battery connected to your recorder because the last thing you want is like you're running out of power. Um, another thing that is also really important to know, if you record on all three sources here and it picks up the audio, this is great and all, but the more you turn on, the bigger the file size. Even if there's nothing plugged in, it will record 32 bit for let's say an hour if you record for an hour. And there will be a big file that you can't prevent. So I usually double check how are the levels and you can be a little bit more flexible with the levels because they're 32 bit. Then I make sure that all the sources are plugged in into the right things and they are activated. And then from there, I just hit record and we're good to go. Check out my land stand in the description below because that helps out the channel. Just in case, Tascam provided me with this um, X6 as a review unit, but I bought the X8 by myself and I really love the Porta Capture series. So on this note, I was like, okay, I'm open to just review it and see what's up with that. And obviously there's differences that nobody really talks about. For example, the menu button, the extra buttons, there's two ports missing and everybody's complaining about that and the multifunction port but it is the budget version. So the budget version is actually great in my opinion. And it has ups and downs. And the only downs are basically like you have 
two less ports and no multifunctional ports. What is like, if you want to save costs, you got to do it somehow. You can pick this one up like probably for 250 or 300, where this one goes for 400. Obviously, there's a hundred dollar difference, but it's really depending where you buy it and what you buy. Yeah, if you're really on a tight budget and you just are like just one person and doing studio stuff by yourself, this is more than enough and you can save the hundred dollars. But if you need like multiple podcasts and you're doing like bigger scope of work, the Porta Capture X8 is a little bit more versatile. In the end, you can do everything and everything on both if you get adapters and cables, but I highly recommend because people, they skim on the cables and they're just like, oh yeah, I don't need cables. And then they run into a situation that's like, where are my cables and I need them. With this being said, check out the description below for my um, lens stand and see you in another video.